Following the hefty fuel prices increases that we've experienced so far this year, cash-strapped and COVID-battered South African motorists, such as you and I, will need to find innovative ways to save fuel and money. According to Dial Direct, if you apply just a few minor adjustments to your driving habits and take your car for its regular maintenance, you can boost the efficiency of your car by as much as 40%. So, for example, if you fill up your car 48 times a year at roughly 900 Rand per tank, a 40% reduction in fuel consumption could easily save you more than 17,000 Rand per year, which is pretty sweet as you can then use these extra savings to pay off debt, save for retirement, or just simply to help pay for that dream holiday that you deserve. So, in this video, I will be giving you 12 easy hacks that you can apply to help increase your fuel economy and indirectly save you money. So without further ado, let's get on to it. Number one, don't cut back on servicing. A car that is not regularly maintained can burn up to 30% more fuel. Things like worn rings, spark plugs, faulty injectors, dirty oil, sticky brakes, low coolant levels and dirty filters can all end up to the engine being less efficient and thus lead to an increased fuel consumption. You may think that you are saving money on not servicing your car, but in the long run, keeping your car fuel efficient will save you loads more considering the increasing price of fuel. Number two, check your car's wheel alignment. Bad wheel alignment causes more friction on the road which takes up more power to overcome and thus will result in a higher fuel consumption, burning a deeper hole into your pocket. Number three, check your car's tire pressure. Underinflated car tires leads to an increase in resistance, which again leads to higher fuel consumption. You can use the air pressure pumps for free at any petrol station to check the air pressure. If you are unsure of what it needs to be, just check the door of the driver or the inside flap of your fuel tank as the information about the correct pressure level is usually displayed there. Number four, use your aircon sparingly. An aircon puts a lot of strain on an engine, so only switch it on when absolutely necessary. Open windows can also cause uneconomic air resistance at higher speeds though. So, if you drive less than 60 kilometers an hour, then open the windows, but if you drive faster than this, then rather switch on the aircon if you really have to. Number five, remove unnecessary excessive weight. Less weight means less power needed to move forward. Hashtag science. So get rid of all that junk in your trunk. And if you mostly drive around in the city, consider driving with only half a tank of fuel. Number six, avoid stop start driving. Try to maintain momentum as much as possible by planning ahead and timing your approaches to traffic lights, hills and crossings. Not only will this help to burn less fuel, but it will also keep your tires and brakes running smoothly for a longer period of time, thereby indirectly saving you money on repair and maintenance. Number seven, optimize your gear. Try and drive at the lowest speed at the highest gear that the road and traffic conditions will allow. Use a moderate throttle position and shift between 2000 and 2500 RPMs. When accelerating, pull away from robots or stop signs slowly and gradually, allowing about 3 seconds to reach 20 km per hour. This will drastically reduce the labor on your engine and improve your fuel consumption. Number 8. Plan ahead. Decide beforehand where you need to go and try to include as many tasks in one round trip as opposed to having many separate shorter ones. Not only will this limit your mileage and the amount of time it takes to get your chores done, but it will also keep your vehicle's engine running at optimal temperature. Number nine, don't speed. Kind of a no brainer here. Speed limits are there for a reason. Not only is it safer to not speed for those around you, but speeding also uses a lot more petrol. And needless to say, if you get pulled over for speeding, then you need to pay a nasty speeding fine. So 
by keeping within the speeding limits, you are also indirectly saving on speeding fines. Number 10. Utilize loyalty programs. Many fuel stations have either membership or discount cards which can easily slice a few cents off the set fuel liter price. And when measuring it over a long period, you will be surprised how much money you can save by simply swiping your card. You're going to swipe anyways, so why not swipe your discount card with your credit card to get those rewards? Number 11. Fill up during the cooler hours of the day. Fuel density drops when temperature rises. So you'll effectively get a lot less fuel when filling up when it is hot outside, as opposed to filling up when it is cooler. So in warmer months, try refueling during the cooler hours of the day, which is either in the early mornings or late evenings. And number 12, don't leave the engine running. Now, contrary to popular belief, Restarting your car does not burn more fuel than leaving it to idle. In fact, idling for just 10 seconds will waste much more fuel than restarting the engine. So if you know that you'll be waiting for someone for quite a while, then rather switch the engine off and open the windows. It might sound simple, but you'd be really surprised at how much you will effectively be saving by doing this. And as a bonus tip, number 3. 13. Sell your car. This is a 100% effective way to save fuel as you won't be needing to buy it anymore. If you can, cycle or walk to work. I know this is not always possible for everyone, but even if you have two cars and you can get by with only one, then sell the other car. Not only will this save you money on fuel, but also on insurance car payments and repairs. Plus, you'll get some healthy exercise, so it's kind of a win-win. Now, I know that each one of these tips alone will not save you enough money to become an instant millionaire, but if you apply all of them, you'll be able to cut quite a decent amount off of your fueling expense every single month. And not only can you then put this money to better use, but it will also teach you to become more conscious about the way that you drive, making you a much safer driver and ensuring that your car is roadworthy for much longer, which will take away the need to buy a new, more expensive model. Thank you for watching this video, guys. If you would like to see more videos on life hacks on how to save on stuff like water and electricity, grocery shopping and car insurance, then make sure to check out my playlist over here that I'll link in the info cards and down in the description. And if you found this video to be helpful, I would really appreciate it if you can leave a like on this video to help with the YouTube algorithm. And if you are interested in things like personal finance, entrepreneurship and investing, then make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any videos. Anyways guys, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. You must have a lucky day and I'll see you in another video next week. Cheers.